Good morning, everybody. This is um, this is Scrub and Lizzie here again. I seem to be um, hanging out in this YouTube world quite a bit lately. Uh, I wanted to show you what I'm working on. I've, I've been making these little journals. These little, they're so cute, the size, I love them. But I've been working on these little journals that I um, make with the scoreboard, extra large, the XL scoreboards by Sizzix. They make this one and they call it their uh, passport, I think that's what they call it. And um, But it's on the scoreboard die and I've been making them. Now these two that I made, I made them using lightweight cardstock for the pages. That one was mostly grays and tans. This one is just a, a bunch of colors in this one. So pretty. I'm just trying things with it. Then this one here, I made that and I used paper bags and I cut them for the pages. The paper bags. Well, see how they, these ones, they, they came out kind of thick you know, already. So journaling or just sketching on these will work nice because you can't add too much to them pages or it'll get really too thick. You could add, you glue things on in them, but um, not a whole lot. Now in this one, when it was finished with the same amount of pages, it was thin. So this one, I decided this one has room for a lot of embellishments on on the pages because I used well I used paper brown paper bags and um, but if you were to use like computer paper printing paper you know copy paper whatever you call it then that would be thin like this too and I got um, a lot of pages three times I think there's 72 pages because there's three three signatures in each signature three and then there's four. Oh well I'm not going to do the math right now it's too early in the morning but um, this one I decided just all of a sudden that um, well, well I came across somebody sent me this this um, calendar. It was from last year and they sent they I you know people send me things, beautiful things. And I do love calendars because they always have such beautiful images in them. And um this one especially I just love nature and there's a lot of nature videos. Uh, not videos, those is pictures. And so and and Bible verses of encouragement. Now yeah, it says an inspirational calendar. So I was looking through that one, and I was just looking at it for the images at first. Then I started thinking, you know, each one had, and I've already cut them out, each one had a, a Bible, each month had a Bible verse. So I cut them Bible verses out. And then I, um, and if you ever have one of these kind of, calendars. I already cut it off the back, but the back usually has all these very small images of the small images of the pages that are in the inside, you know, so that when it's displayed at the store that you can see those images and then you'll know what the pages are like inside the calendar. So, I cut all those little square images out, and then I cut out all of this, all of these, um, all of these, the, the verses. Now, in to be my faith-based spiritual, spiritual um, journal. And it's going to be like a, like a glue book or just, um, well, not really an art journal, but, and not really a junk journal. And so it's 
going to be a glue journal because I'm going to be journaling in here as well. And so, but to start though, I'm putting on, I'm, I'm taking the, the, I'm taking the, um, yeah, oh gosh, I wish I could talk normal. Um, I'm taking the, 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 but Bible scriptures here, this one is says, this is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And that's in Psalms 118 20 and verse 24. And um, that's like one of my favorites. And and um, that's like one of my favorites. And um, so I like that one. And so, no. Oh. Trying to talk and do something at the same time for me is just a real trick. Okay, so I'm going to just put that right on there crooked like this. I was just putting some washi tape on there because for me there was too much white space. But this is just a quick, um, a quick video to show. I, I know I see that a lot of people... I hear that a lot of people don't do too much about, you know, faith-based kind of journaling and stuff, but I, I, I like to talk about it. I like to talk about it and I like to, to, um, to do that. Okay. Now see here, I put the, this was the, the verse that came in the calendar. And it shows that picture, that part of the image on the back of that verse. And then here, across from it, I used the little piece there that matched. So the page matches nicely. And so, and in this book, I've put a few different things so far. Um, here, I put a pocket. And I made a little, another small journal that, it's like a bookmark journal that I just made that fits inside that pocket. And on top of the pocket, I glued on a picture. I have a lot of this handmade paper. I made, I was in a spell at one time that I was making handmade papers. I have to make more though because I've used most of it up, but this one here, it's got a lot of tea in it. Tea, the actual tea. After using the tea bag, then you use put the actual tea leaves in the paper as you're making it. And I love how that one turned out. See how pretty that is? And um, then that one's pretty plain, and that's just green. This one here, though, see, I was practicing. This one here turned out pretty thin, and this one here is quite thick. And so I was practicing how I can make them you know, thinner. And this one turned out pretty thin, but this is where I was putting my pulp into a, into squeeze bottles. And I put this, put this different colors in the squeeze bottles. And then I would squeeze the pulp onto the screen, onto the, oh, I can't think of what you call that. There's a name for it on the, um, yeah, whatever. Deckle, deck, deckle, whatever. And to make a little more of an art, artsy thing, I think I'm getting the itch to do some more paper making. And so that's what this one was too. Was see, and on both sides it comes different. How pretty! This one is mostly blue because I put the blue down first, and then I added the colors on top. This one here is more more mixed. The colors are more mixed. This one just has the two colors. This one's quite heavy, too. But I use pieces of this paper. This, these are all the um, tea leaves are in there. And there's another one that I did the different colors. This one here has got, actually, I took feathers, and I cut feathers up. And I put the feathers into the pulp when I was making this one and I thought that tur turned out pretty nice it's with the little pieces of the feathers all the way all the way through the um the paper pulp and it 
made a nice paper. But this one here, this particular piece here, I had um, this one I've got glitter in that. You can maybe see that. Boy, that smells good. It smells like cedar because I had them all in a in a um, in a box that was lined in cedar. But this one too has got these ones have got some feathery uh, stuff in there. I cut apart sometimes pieces of yarn and pieces of thread and things like that that I put in my um, this one. I was looking for the other part of that one, but I don't see it right here in my big fat mess. But this one here, I had actual flowers that I put in into the pulp and <coughs> no, I didn't put it in the pulp. I <coughs> laid them on top after after I um had it already in the deco. But now see then I just laid that on top of the pulp and then I squeezed it out and dried them. I put a little quote on there that says the journey is the destination. And so I've put a few things on these pages just to give them, just because I wanted to, I guess. No reason, just put them on there because I wanted to. I borrowed my friend's die for these little pockets. So cute, makes little pockets and then the little tag to go in it. So I borrowed her die and made, made a few. And this was just a corner that, just a picture I cut out of something and then just put a little card in there. And this one too was, oh, this one was, I made a little envelope pocket there. And then this bookmark was in a, a box of um, a Happy Meal, big box full of stuff that Trish had sent me. And it was a little bit too long to fit in my envelope so I cut the very end off and I put the end right there on the top of the envelope along with some washi tape and some other things and then I made also an, a little book just a small journal stapled at the binding to go in that envelope too and so I just put different things in there this one here oh that was also from Trish and I put that in there to make a pocket and then I made I made this little booklet to go inside this little tuck spot there. And so that, and, and I just kind of flip through the book and do the things. But now see, here's, here's my next. This one says, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. Now, so, so I'll cut that and, um, I'll, I'll get that one. I'll make that a little smaller here. Now I'm going to, I want to leave. Oops. Ooh, I almost cut that too short, didn't I? Okay. But I want to leave a little bit of white space on here. I'm going to leave a little white space on there because I can, I can um, put more decorate on there or I could maybe journal on there I'm not sure yet so what I'm going to do though is let's see I'm going to fold it this way that way okay and then I'm going to find a page that I'm going to put that on and I'll put that in just like this Okay, so I'll use this edge, and that's what I'll glue. I'll, I'll put the glue right here on this piece that I folded over. Okay, make sure I have that right. Yes. And so now I'm going to put that, well, let me see, let me find a page that that's going to live on. Come on, find me a page. All right, here, this is good. This is going to live right here. So I'll glue that right there. Now, then that will open this way and, and we'll be able to read the verse there. And then here, this is the one that matches that. 
So that's going to go. These don't want to stay. And probably will clip on there. They want to fly around. Okay, like a butterfly. But okay, and so then I like to take these and um, put just a piece of. Of, I like to take these and then just put them, give them a little background frame of black, and it fits right on that piece of scrap of black that I have. So I'm going to just put that on there like this. That's pretty. Okay. And ooh, it's getting daylight outside. I like to be able to look out. I can look to my right and I can see out the out the sliding glass door and I can see I can see that it's getting daylight. Now this is going to go on this. You know I could probably even mat behind that these the, the actual Bible verse. And then, then I can write down some of my favorite Bible verses or Bible scriptures and, um, and add to this. So I won't just have, because the, the um, Bible, the actual calendar, you know, I come up with 12 different scriptures that's going to be in, in the, in this book. And, um. And, and see, and then on the backs, there's a piece of the, a piece of the, the picture that was on the back side. And like this one, here's the matching one that was on the back of the calendar. And so that's the way I'm going to work this one. And this is going to be my, um, my faith journal. Now I might put in, I might put in, uh, a prayer, or I might put in an answer to a prayer, or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what all I'll put on there, but it's going to end up being um, very touching for me anyway. Um, I know there are some people that um, don't base their lives on faith, and and if that's what you choose, then that's what you choose, and that's okay. I it's okay for you, I I guess. I but for me, I yeah, I need to have that. That's my crutch, and so and so then now let's see. This one here is small. I might be able to just put that one without making a flip flap on it. This one I might be able to. To just cut that down, I think I will. I think I'll just cut that down and let's see if I cut it there how that will fit. That will fit nice. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this on the black as well. I'm gonna put that on the black. Now this one, you gotta remember now because I'm not gonna be able to see the back back of that one. You see, I gotta find which one that was here. Oh, that's this one. Okay. I just want to make sure I put the right. Oh, I was trying to remember what I was doing. See, I get I, I get myself all discombobulated sometimes. Okay. I'm gonna put this. Now, see, I didn't cut that straight right there, but it's okay. I don't mind. I don't do anything perfect. I don't even do things kind of perfect. I just do things kind of however I feel like it at the moment. And so now I'm going to put that on its own page. And I think I'm going to call this its own page right here. So now I'm going to just stick it in there kind of side with, you know what, I should have put it this way. Oh, but I didn't. It's too late now. It's going to be in there just that way. But if it's this way or if it's that way, it doesn't really matter what way. But um, it's going to be that way. Now, see, I might still put like a little sticker or a little picture of sorts up there. Now, which one did I say was the one that matched that? 
Well, Elizabeth Murray. See what happens to me? How? Oh, here it is. That's a pretty picture by the seashore. Okay, that's very pretty. Now that one is going to go. Now I'm going to glue that onto this black paper too. I have a hard time keeping things in frame because I go over here or I go over here or I go down here. Well, you can still see me kind of down here. That's good. My nightgown. i got to get my shower and get dressed still. Jeffrey's going to be here. Let's see. Oh, no. See, I still have half an hour before he's going to be here. Jeffrey comes. Today we're going to go to the thrift shop. Jeffrey comes. Jeffrey's eight years old. Some of you already know Jeffrey. And he's eight years old. And he wants to go to the thrift shop today because he wants to find some National Geographic magazines. So that's okay because I like going to the thrift shop. There we go. And that's going to be like right there. Then I have like also I have some little cutesy little things here. These are like little roses. So I think since these pictures, since these, this is going to be, like I say, a faith-based, it's going to be faith and nature. See the upside down or the downside up. There we go. That's pretty. And then I can put that one. These are little roses on here. So what I'm going to do is just glue stuff like this. Just put stuff like this right here. And then I can still doodle around the edges or whatever I decide to do. I, oh, I might show this to you again another day and let you see what I've come up with. But... I know it's going to be nice. It's going to be, I have faith in myself that, well, yeah, now see there that this one matches this, see? So this one and this one will go together. But see, we can, we can um, just kind of fold it like this. Let's see. Wait a minute, I gotta be careful though, you know, because I gotta be careful because what gets glued down, I the part that gets glued down can't have I can't cover up the writing. So I can glue it like this. I can just fold it like this, glue it like that. I and see because it's got this white space on here. That gives me space to put put some washi tape. I like using washi tape. I have got some really pretty washi tape. But I'm going to just put this piece right here. I need to do, you know, one of the things I do, I, you know, my mind goes back and forth from one thought to another. But one of the things I do when I don't have anything better to do is I make paracord bracelets out of paracord. A lot of people do that these days. And um, my grandson, he asked me because he watches, he's up in New York and he watches my videos. He said he likes to watch my videos. So he asked me if I'd make a video on my paracord bracelets because he wants he wants to remember he when he was down here we started making one for him and I don't think we ever finished it because I have a lot of unfinished product projects in my life. Like like my children, you know, they're kind of unfinished. Okay, so then that's going to be. You know, wonder. I think I'll close that like this. Fold it like this. Let's see, there you go. That's actually upside down, but but the verse is right side upwards, so it's all okay. Because if I do it this way, then. 
it will, let's see, if I fold it that way, then it'll match its, its mate. You know what I might do? I have somewhere, well, I don't know where they are, but um, those little tabs that you can turn around and it folds down, it turns, so like a little tab, I don't know, like a little doohickey, I guess we'll just call it a doohickey. I like that word, doohickeys, because once you get elderly, like me, elderly, then you forget words, and so the words doohickey, thingamajig, whatchamacallit, all of those, whatever, all them words come in very handy. Because you just stick those words in the slots where um, where they need to be. I'm going to have to put something on the back of this here book too to hold, to cover up those little metal pieces. Because some little metal pieces want to stick up and get in my way. Okay, so I'm going to just stick this down here like this. Oh my gosh, I hear my dogs. They want to get up. Yep, as soon as they see it's daylight, they think I need to let them out. They sleep in the laundry room. Well, three of them sleep in the laundry room. They got nice beds in there. Their bed, their laundry room is fixed up better than my bedroom for them dogs. But see there? Then that will go on here on this page. And that will match this. And, okay, see? Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. James 4, chapter 4, verse 8. And see there? And then that matches. Look at that. Huh? I don't usually do anything that matches, but these are matching, and these are kind of pretty. Oh, you know what? These here, I got these from Trish as well. They're like, um, these are pretty, because I love butterflies. And she sent me all these butterflies. Thank you, Trish. I love the butterflies. And she's got them. She punched them up. Oh, and because I'm doing this as um, as nature, what is better in nature than the butterflies? And you know what? When I, I've told you guys this before, but whenever I, I um, glue a butterfly into a journal or a whatever i only glue see i get a choice what color what side i want to show i only glue right up the center that's all i do little spot of glue right up in the center because i want his wings because when i go through this book after a while then i want his wings to be able so i'll just fold that a little bit and um Put that glue right there in the middle. And I want I want his wings to be able to come up when I'm looking. Oh, here, oh that is oh now now that one's a hard decision. Which side I want. But because I don't glue the whole thing down, I'll still be able to see part of them wings. Okay. I'm not gonna make this long because I gotta go get my shower before my grandson gets here and um get myself dressed. But yeah. So that's just what I wanted to show you what I'm doing here. And um, like I say, this is, I love the size of these little journals. I just think they're so much fun. And um, I think I'm going to make one, I'm going to make one just for a giveaway. I don't know how I'm going to do my giveaway though. You know what? I think I got like 700 and something, 700 and some viewers or subscribers 700 and something can you can you believe that 700 and something people have subscribed to my channel I can't believe it I just cannot believe it. I've had like 25,000 views on my videos I just I'm gonna have to pack up stuff and move to Hollywood <laughs> Hollywood, yeah, that's where I'm going to have to go because I am that famous. Ooh, here's a pretty flower. Isn't that a pretty flower? 
I just found that laying there. I think I might put that somewhere too. That would be pretty on one of these pages. If I just... Isn't that page pretty? I love it. If I just put... A... Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm going to find a place for that flower because I like that flower. Okay. Anyway. This is before shower. Right after waking up in the morning in the, out of the bed. I look a mess. I always look a mess. But that's okay. That's my look. All right. So, yeah. But anyhow, I'm going to do another video later on in the day or tomorrow. Or maybe not till next week. You just never know. <coughs> you never know. <coughs> oh, this is pretty. That's pretty. I'm put that yeah that's pretty I keep looking around I, my eyes just don't stop I just keep looking around at stuff and I save so many things and then I come up with stuff and um, I come up with stuff and then I have to decide what I'm gonna do yeah this is my book from Trish I love this I keep this right here Trish sent this to me too she sent me such beautiful things but I keep that right there on my desk because it's pretty and I like to look at it. Okay, I'm going to really put my glue topper stopper back into my glue bottle right here. And um, got to gotta let... You know, things work better if you wear your glasses, Elizabeth. You can see things. There, got it in there without my glasses. Just pure luck. Okay. God bless you all. I love you guys. And um, God will watch over you. He will every day. He's the one that keeps you safe. That's why you're safe right now. <laughs> That's why you're safe right now because he watches over you. He's he my buddy. He is my buddy. All right. Love you guys. And I'll, and I'll see you soon. Let's see if I can see this button. There it is. Okay. Love you guys. Bye-bye.